Wound ballistics, the study of the physical interaction between bullets or fragments with human tissue. This film will look at the impact of bullets from rifles and handguns as well as fragments from explosive weapons, all at different velocities. And this comes down to physics. Viola? Is good. Good. Achtung! Fire! Here you see the typical track of a full metal jacket bullet. It enters the body and remains stable for a certain distance here in the narrow channel. Then it turns sideways and in that position it's compressed, ejecting a number of fragments and breaks up. The tip of the bullet veers upwards and exits here, while the rest of the projectile stays down here. Here we see the deformed projectile. The bullet enters here. It expands during the first three centimeters of its track through the body and carries straight on through the tissue. For surgeons, if this is the size of your limb wound from a semi-jacket bullet, this is an enormous wound and it is very unlikely that you would be able to preserve any function at all. We compare that with the narrow channel that we'd seen in the full metal jacket bullet. The 1899 Hague Declaration prohibited bullets which do this, and military bullets which are legal do this. There is no difference in the overall energy, it is simply deposited earlier for the prohibited bullet. This represents the sort of wound that a, someone might survive to a field hospital with. There are two main problems for the surgeon. The first is that there are uh, bone fragments driven down into the a laceration in the brain. And the second problem is that somehow this has to be covered by the skin. This virtual autopsy of a person killed by multiple bullet wounds shows exactly one such tangential wound. It shows a close parallel between a real wound and a simulated wound. It is a final validation of the work done in this laboratory.